Good morning, it's Cassie here, and I wanted to come and chat with you guys about a little something called consistency. What is it, why is it important, how has it helped me along my five plus years in this business, and why you should definitely focus on it too. One of the things I used to tell people all the time um, early on in my business when they would join is, and they would come and they would say things like, well, I can't get anyone to buy or no one will join my team or blah, 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 that, those kind of things. I'm not saying blah, 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 the things we all say, right? And one of the things I always said, because I firmly believed then, I still believe today, is people want to make sure you're not going anywhere, right? In direct sales, we have so many people that join and then quit join and then quit people that come do nothing quit people that bounce people that join one company join another join another it's just the way it is and I'm a firm believer that people that are gonna join you want to make sure you are not going to quit they want to see that consistency in you they want to see that this girl's real she even if they're not here to work a business a lot of times people are looking for a sponsor a lot of times they're not. I didn't go seeking out like um, the top sponsor. Like I joined my friend and a lot of people do that. But then there are other people who literally are looking for people that work it like a business that run it and they want to join someone like that. I've had a lot of people come to me through the years. They say, well, I saw your video or I've seen you through the years. I follow you and I know that you're serious about this business. And here's the thing. You don't have to be serious about this business to grow a team. But when you do start growing a team, you also want to keep consistency in your head for another reason. You want your team to see that you are consistent. You are consistently hitting your um, leadership cells. You are consistently showing up. You are consistently working your business. You're not just showing up on the last day of the month. You are consistently being there. You are consistently working with your team. One of the mistakes a lot of people make in this business is we have someone join our team and then we just think they know what to do or we depend on our upline to do it. And that's not really the way it works. When you have someone join your team, you have the luxury and the beauty and the, the awesome um, chance to earn extra bonuses off of them. So in doing so, you actually have a job and your job is to make sure that you are there for them and you train them, you help them in their first 15 days, you help them along the way. Help meaning you motivate, you give ideas, you inspire, hey, I'm here. Here's the thing, if you don't do that, many times your people are gonna do nothing. Sometimes you're going to find a go-getter. I like to say I'm a go-getter. I think I've been a go-getter since the beginning. And you're going to find a go-getter and they're going to go regardless of what you're doing. And guess what? They're going to end up leaving you behind. And you don't want them to do that. I've seen it a lot um, over the past few years here in Brave Family. And it's something we don't realize happens, right? If you're not, if you're having people join your team, but you're not consistently doing the things you need to do, you're going to find your people creeping up on you. And there's a thing in the compensation plan when you see, um, like, let's say you're a star consultant and then your team member becomes a star consultant. If you have a team of 12 and like eight or with, if, if, um, Joni has a team of 12 and she's a star consultant and um, Susie joins as her front line and she has eight of those 12 in the team and you're both star consultant. I forgot my names. Joni is not going to get paid off of Susie's eight people even if she hits her 500 and she hits that paid at title because you're the same title. Now there are times that we get there and we stay that way for a little bit, but if you are consistently growing your team and you're consistently working your business, you're going to find that you are staying ahead of the game. When people come to me, they want to work the business and they have people on their team and they have questions and they're struggling. I just always give them this advice, stay one step ahead. And it's not because, um, you're better, nothing like that. But here's the reality. If you're working the business, you want a paycheck. Plain and simple, you want a good paycheck. And in order to make sure you're getting paid on everyone, you've got to be showing up and consistently doing the things that need to be done because you want to get that commission. Now, it's not always the case that the people are not showing up consistently. Sometimes it just happens that way. But here's the thing, when that starts to happen, you have to change your focus, you have to change your shift, and you have to figure out what is it that I need to do to get to the next level. And that's where the leaders of Brave Family, we're here for you for that. You can come to any of us and we will help you. That is the great thing about this page. So consistency is so important for so many reasons, even with our customers. I have had people come to me and they say, you know what, I'm gonna order from you and I'm gonna tell you why. My best friend has sold Scentsy for six years, but I didn't even know about that sale last week. I had someone tell me this back in December. 
They said, that amazing cell y'all had, I saw you posting about it, and she tells me, oh yeah, I'm not doing it. That's one of the worst things you can do. Because guess what? Your best friend is not ordering from me. Not that I, what? Okay, oh, okay. Not that I want, am going to take someone's customers, but here's the reality. If a customer comes to you and they're not happy with what they're getting, it's not our job to persuade that customer to stay with someone when they're not providing the service at all, especially when they're not promoting things. And I always try and sway them to say, especially if you're on my team, mercy. That is not anything I do or want to do. But at the end of the day, I tell people that come to me with this situation, look, if you are consistently working your business and they see you and they want to work with you, whether joining your team or they want to buy from you, it's not our job to say, oh, but Carol, if this person is not happy with Carol, if these are your names, I'm just making up names. If they are not getting what they need from that person and they feel like you can fulfill that, it's not your fault. Otherwise, we're just going to lose a customer altogether, right? It's not our customer's fault if the consultant is not consistently working their business, not showing up, not following up, not giving the deals. So, and I'm not even talking like special deals. I'm talking sharing Scentsy specials. So our customers are watching us just as much as your potential team members. And oh my goodness, your customers are your potential team members. So it is vital. Now you're gonna have people that join your team. You're gonna do all the right things with them. You're gonna be consistent. You're gonna help them, and you're still not gonna be enough. And at that time, you just lead like you can lead. Let you lead like you can lead. This business, if it's done one thing for me, it hit, it's done a lot. But it has helped me grow a backbone and to realize that I may not be everyone's cup of tea. They may not relate to me. I may not do enough for them. But at the end of the day, if I'm doing what needs to be done and I am showing up and I am intentional and I am doing everything that needs to be done, it's not a me issue, it's a them issue. And I encourage you, especially if you've watched this far um, and you are someone growing a business and a leader in this business, not to let other people even if they're in your downline, get to you. At the end of the day, you are solely responsible for your consistency, your intentionality, is that a word? How intentional you are with your business, how you work your business with integrity and what you are doing. We are not responsible for how others feel about us. So that's a whole nother video. But guys, it's the truth. You can do the same thing with all five people on your team. Okay, and three of them, let's, let's start with 15 day. You do the same thing with all five of them, okay? And two of them hit shooting star, woohoo! Another one never responded to you, they didn't care. Another one missed it by a chance, she blames you. And then the other one hits it too. Like you can do the same thing, and I'm just saying, everyone's different, so don't take it if you, if something happens with a team member that it's always your fault. I mean, there are times we are at fault and we can definitely as leaders say, I messed up, this was a bad move, this was a bad decision, I didn't think about this very well. But you cannot let it beat you down. You have to be who you are and you lead from a distance, love from a distance and you be who you are. We don't have to be best friends with everyone and that is okay. But if you were, I don't even know why I'm on that tangent, but if you are consistently working your business, you are going to see your business soar. If you are consistently every single day doing something to move your business forward, and I don't mean hours upon hours upon hours. Are you reaching out to your upline? Are you reaching out to your sponsor, your director, your superstar director? Do we know that you want to make this a business? Do we know where you are struggling? Do we know that you want this kind of training or you would like to see this? If we don't know, then we can't provide it. Are you showing up on your team page, on Brave Family, on the group page? Are you making yourself known? Let me tell you, when I decided that I was going to join this business and I was going to go full-fledged into it and there was no turning back, this was two months after I joined, I reached out to my superstar director. I'd never met her, but I saw her name on my workstation. I said, can I have a phone call? That was bold. And I get on the phone with her. Um, she instills belief in me. I said, do you have a team page I could be joined on? And she said at that time, well, a few years ago, I ended up, um, she separated them, kind of like we did like a year and a half ago, you know, trying to let the directors lead. And so she only had it for her team. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would really love to be part of it. And so she added me. And at that time, she started adding everyone else again, like, and it was like Gray Family, a group together. For our family, we find that it's best to have that one group hub where we can all be there because that's what we've always grown as. Um, 
So just for those of you that have been around for a while and we switched it for a little bit, we I learned very quickly that was a mistake on my part. And I was um, very clear that that was something that was not very good of a decision on me. I was very apologetic, but I still consistently made sure I tried something, it didn't work, and so I took it back and it's something brand new and beautiful. Oh, oh, just spilled my coffee. But what happened was I get added to her page. I go through all the files on her page. Y'all, I was commenting on everything. You know those people on that team did not like me probably. I was showing up, I was commenting on everything. She had this program she had listed. I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna be part of this. She's like, oh, that was a year ago, we're not doing that. And at first I thought, what? Well, now I get it, I totally understand. But I was that person so hungry to soak every single bit of it in that I was showing up, I was asking questions, I was sure to welcome every single person on my team, let them know, hey, this is our Superstar Director's page, there's lots of information here. I was shouting out, y'all, I was doing everything I could do. My face was on that page and people knew my name because I was just there. Make sure you're showing up. When you have questions, search it in the search tab. Go to the files, go to your workstation. I'm just saying. Guys, there's such an opportunity here, and if we are consistently showing up, working our business, asking people to join our team, selling our product, doing all the things, following up, doing all the things we need to do, you are going to find whatever level of success that you want. And if you don't want to work it that hard, you don't have to. That's the beauty of this business. It's, it's here for whatever you want to do with it. My hope is that more people want to like, but that's not always the case, and my dreams can't be your dreams. I can't set my dreams on you. But when people I know want to work in and go to the next level, you better believe they're on my radar and I'm talking to them and I'm, you know, like I know that. So this is supposed to be about consistency and I'm all over the place. But guys, if you took anything away today on this video, be consistent in your business. People don't want to join someone until they know they're going to stick around. So many people quit and we've got to get that view out and stick around even when it gets hard. I love you guys and have a great day.